How's it going guys? My name is Doe and I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm not sure what day it is, but I hope you're doing pretty good. We're getting really close to the release of Dauntless and with the release we're going to see a new weapon called the Aether Striker. There's going to be some fist weapons. It's going to be fantastic. I've already played these weapons and they are really fun. But today we have an article which is a preview of Aether Strikers, so let's get into that. When we first welcomed closed beta slayers to Dauntless, there were only four weapons available in the game. The sword, the hammer, the chain blades, and the axe. Weapon mods and alternative specials were barely an idea yet, and even the warp pipe was still in development. Today, the Dauntless arsenal comprises six unique weapons, and on September 26, we'll be adding our seventh, the Aether Strikers. The Wave of the Fists. In the hands of an experienced slayer, a weapon is an extension of intent, able to translate through the, able to translate thought and instinct into an effective, decisive martial action. Yo, I don't know who they're talking about, but I just smash buttons. I don't know what's going on. I just I button mash and it all works out. So I don't know what they're talking about. The other strikers are different. <laughs> that first that first sentence actually got me pretty good. I don't know why. Instead of acting as an extension of self, the strikers function as a catalyst, catalyst, cattle list, transforming the, every, the very slayer who wields them into a weapon of flesh and deadly focus. They're actually pretty cool. I, I would like they're pretty hard to play too. But the Aether Strikers can only enhance what is already there. If you truly want to master the way of the fist and prove your worth to the scared master, scar wait, <laughs> the scarred master. You'll need to do more than throw a quick punch. Combos, chains, mantras, techniques, each aspect of the Aether Strikers must be understood, practiced, and honed to perfection. Bro, they're, they're really fun. They can't even... They're so fun. Hands-on slaying. The Strikers are... Pugilists? Pugilists? Weapons? I, dude, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a Taurus, and I swear I'm gonna learn. I promise. Okay? Just give me some time. But they also have a spiritual a spiritual component. If you truly master them, you'll need to learn to charge up special energies called mantras and understand when to unleash their powers. I have to keep scrolling, this is ridiculous. Combos and mantras. There are three basic combos that feed into your mantras focus assault, spirit barrage, and mighty squall. Squall? Successfully completing a combo by landing all three hits will charge its corresponding mantra. Okay. So by playing them, you didn't actually have to land all three mantras, or all three hits, which hopefully they, they keep that the way it is right now, because when you play them, landing the last hits all that counts, and that's actually a good thing, because you can do things to manipulate the behemoths in which ways like they'll run around you, and you're not landing all your hits, but you can land your last hit, giving yourself your, your mantra. Yeah. So at the moment, you don't have to land all three hits, but they might change that. I'm hoping they don't. I've asked them not to, but we'll see. So here are the combos. Focus Assault. Three quick hits generates the Focus Mantra. So on PC, it's three left clicks. On PS4, it would be three squares. On Xbox, it would be three... Whatever they press. Like, I don't... I always forget. And the next attack is Spirit Barrage. A flurry of hits generates the Spirit Mantra. So this is going to be a light attack, and then... Or we'll go with a primary attack, and then two secondary attacks. We'll, we'll go with that, okay? We'll, we'll say that. So PC, left click. PS4, you hit square, and then on the second part, you hit right click, right click, or triangle, triangle. Xbox, I, I will learn your buttons. I keep forgetting them, I'm sorry. And the last thing is just have it, uh, it's your secondary attacks. So PC, three right clicks, PS4, three triangles. Xbox, I, I'm sorry. So this is gonna be three powerful strikes generated by my mantra. This is gonna be where you uppercut stuff. It's freaking, it feels so good. Once you've charged up a mantra, you'll see a timer and two special two special skills light up on your UI. So as you can see, like when you do a certain combo, you'll get a, a light up for the mantra. And that's where and you have the ability to do a tap or a hold. So there's that. The first one is a surge, a skill you can use after gaining any mantra or using any technique. Tap your special button to execute a dash attack that punches through, through enemies. And this is this this part's important. Refreshes your timer. So using your tap does not use the mantra, it instead refreshes it, and this also this can be used to reposition yourself. It's very useful, very helpful. It's a good, it's just a good thing to do. And then timing is everything. Before we go further into technique and combo chains, let's explain the mantra timer. That this glowing meter lets you see how much time you have left uh, before your current mantra expires. You can refresh it by either A, activating surge, or B, landing another successful combo before it times out. This could be any combo you want. The one you've already used, ones you haven't used, it doesn't matter. It'll refresh the timer. 
If it expires, you'll lose all your current mantra charges and you'll have to start over with another combo. Which is, uh, feels bad. Alright, techniques. Perhaps the most important component of the Aether Striker systems uh, Aether Striker system are techniques. These are special moves that vary depending on how many mantras you have charged up. Tempest Form is the simplest technique, requiring only one mantra to use. Activate it to focus your energy and increase your attack speed. This is a relatively long boost. It's like 30 to 35 seconds. It's very nice. I really like this form of attack speed because it's very easy to maintain. And it does require some, you know, thinking. It requires looking at your buff bars as well. So it, it's not just like a mindless, oh, hey, let me just use my lantern and hold. Or let me dodge an attack to get attack speed. Like, it's like a buff you maintain. And I love... I love managing buffs, I love combos, that's why like, I really enjoy these weapons so far. Okay, and here's a little, little cinematic thing. So that was your, uh, that was your light heavy heavy right there. It was like a double fist, and that was an uppercut right there. That was like your, your third combo. Alright. Karma Breaker requires two mantras and unleashes a forward strike. This strike damages the first target it hits and deals damage over time for an extended period. Dots? are freaking cool okay i love dots i kind of wish warpike had a wound dot that's just me though but this puts a dot on the behemoth and i love dots like they're just really cool the damage over time effects are lit and you can interrupt it with that and i think you can do it without getting hit because but in this clip they get hit but i'm pretty sure if you do it a little earlier you'll not get hit or if you angle it differently you can avoid getting hit so that's a tool to use to interrupt behemoths just by the way little uh Little cool tech right there. And then scroll up, Doe, please. Adamant Bolt. Released a f wait, releases a focused cannon like bolt blast of energy dealing damage to the first enemy it hits. It also deals bonus damage if either Tempest Form or Car Breaker is active, and even more damage if they're both active. You'll need to light up all three monsters in order to use this one. So this is activated after doing all your combos, so landing your your ally attacks or your, your primary attacks and then your random combos. So doing all three combos and having the timer still up, you can do this combo. This is, the, this is your special. It's freaking, it's really fancy, really lit. It's a good time. And I, I'm not sure if I can show footage for this because I've played repeaters, I've got, I've got recordings of it, but I'll probably ask if I can show footage because I don't want to get in trouble. Like that's the, like, that's the last thing I want to do is like, oh hey, here's some footage. And it's like, uh, Douglas, you're, uh, you're a DOS affiliate now, deleted from DOS partnership. Like that'd be, uh, that'd be sad times. It's really cool. It's a really fun ability. It's like a it's a freaking kamehameha from the sky, dude. And then mind over matter. While you might be tempted to blast adamant bolt after adamant bolt, you won't get the full benefit of your strikers without putting your strategic your strategic mind to work. First, consider that adamant bolt does its maximum damage only when tempest form and karma breaker are active. That means that you'll you'll want to think ahead and consider the amount of time it takes to activate both tempest form and karma breaker, the amount of time it takes to charge all three mantras in preparation for adamant bolt. When those times line up with the good window for unleashing the adamant bolt, and how to beat, wait, how to best use combo chains and surge to keep your mantra timer from expiring. The hard part about the gauntlets will definitely be maintaining your mantras and being in the right mantra and maintaining your, your, karma, your karma breaker and tempest form. Also using the little dash ability to reposition yourself. Like that's going to be a really big, a really big key to being good with these, these are weapons, almost like repeaters. The more you play, the more your sense for strikers will the more your sense for striker timing will develop. And don't be afraid to practice on some lesser behemoths if you need breathing room. Or some, you know, some uh some wrathwort, some mushrooms, some uh, sky bloom, you know? Just farm that too while you're at it. As our most technical difficult weapon to date, the strikers may take a while to fully master. They're so much fun, dude. They're lit. Interrupted. One more thing to consider before you strap on those strikers is the type of damage you'll be doing. Mythic Strikers deal blunt damage, a type of damage best suited to staggering behemoths and cracking through Skarn armor. As a bonus, the Strikers' heavy strikes can also interrupt. So the next time you see strike, uh, strike charging your way, go ahead and punch it right out of the sky. So that would be a roll secondary attack. That can apparently interrupt. Which is, it's kind of hard to time. But you uh, angle it to like the right or the left, and that'd be easier, I think. And then Master and Crafter. Once Dallas 1.0 launches on September 26th, your source for all things Strikers will be the scare, Scarred Master. That word is hard to read for me. Scarred Master, the Herald of the Aether Unbound Season. Look, of her, look for her in the crafting quad near, near where Moira and Wills have their shops. She looks pretty lit. This whole area looks pretty lit. It's dope. But 
All right, moving on. Titus will get access to the Aether Strikers fairly early in progression, right around the same time you get your first pair of repeaters. Once you've grabbed the Scared Master's Quest, you'll be able to talk to her for all of your Striker crafting needs, and there'll be, a quite, there'll be quite a few. Just like with the Sword and Warpike, you'll be able to craft a unique set of Strikers for each Behemoth you slay. That's cool. Gonna be some stuff to do, which is lit. Like some stuff to farm, which I think in my case, I'll just I'll legit be able to upgrade all of them to max. I've got like four thousand peerless and all kind of stuff. And by the way, as a partner, I do not get any materials from Dauntless. Just throwing it out there. Some folks are like, you got partner privilege. You're just like, nah, dude, I don't. I mean, kinda, but not not like that though. Not in that way. Anyway, we've also added a mastery card for the strikers. The strikers full of special objectives and unlocks, but built specifically for our newest weapon. Take a look after you equip your first set. That means there might be some mods, you know, a special or two in there. Who knows? Who could know? Anyway, see you in 1.0 Slayers. Man, I hope you guys are excited because I am very amped to play these weapons just to be able to, like, talk about them fully, show what, show, show what they can do, and experiment with them. Because I haven't had too much time to play test, but doing other stuff. But I, I'm excited, man. And I'm, I'm excited for the future of Dauntless too. Like, going into 1.0 is a big deal. It's a big deal for Dauntless. And I want to see... I mean, I, I can't wait to see. Not, not I want to see. I, I can't wait to see what they do with the game. Because they're, it's, a, it's a game full of talented people. People that do stuff that... It's just... It's insane, alright? It's some mild stuff. And it's going to be more polished is what the hope is. And probably what's going to happen. So, I'm excited. That's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, maybe comment down below, and share this video with your friends, your, you know, whoever's going to watch it. Share it with them, make them like the video, watch them do it. Be sure it happens. It's really important. And if you like these kind of videos, you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more dollars content. That's what I do here. And the last couple things, the last couple plugs, I do have a Twitch channel. It's over at Odo. I stream this game pretty regularly. I'm, I'll be streaming it freaking all the time after the launch right now i'm working on videos for before the launch and to support this channel if you want you can use my epic games worker code in the epic game store or in the in-game dollar store making purchases that helps me out immensely i keep saying it it's true it will keep being true and thank you guys for doing that and thank you to anyone who's watching this video because that alone helps out the channel and like just what i'm doing a lot thank you guys very much for the support it means a great deal. And there will also be some, uh, you know, some flower codes in the comments if you guys want those. I think like 30 or 50, whatever the deal is. First come, first serve for those. So if you don't get them, you can sub to my, my Twitch channel. That's a really easy way to get them. Right now it's like half off for subs. Won't be for too long though. So that's the deal, guys. Hope you guys like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.